Hello folks, uh, today I have got uh, 2020 May June paper 1 2 and the question number is 36. This question is concerned with the chapter credit electricity. So it says that a cell of electromotive force EMF E, e and uh, internal resistance 0 0.50 ohm which is small r is connected to a resistor of resistance 4.7 ohm which is large r. The maximum power that can be dissipated by the resistor without overheating is 0 0.50 watts. So that means uh, uh, power max, power max in the resistor, in the resistor, which is the external one, is equal to 0 0.50 watts. What is the maximum value of E for the resistor not to overheat? So we have to, so this means, this means in this setup, we have a variable uh, source, so it uh, changes. And we have to find the maximum value of E, maximum safe value for this E. So, this uh, power max is equal to, when power max through the resistor is uh, uh, highest, is uh, highest, what should happen is equal to I square R. R is constant. So, this uh, I should have been the maximum value. So, that's why, therefore, I max uh, square equal to P by R, P max by R. And this uh, I max should be equal to should be equal to P max divided R then this root. So its value will come to be equal to inside the root. I have P max is uh, 0 0.5050 50, and this R is 4.7 ohm 4.7. So its value should be equal to 0 0.5 0 0.5 divided 4.7 equal to equal to so uh, so <coughs> we'll have root of this answer is equal to equal equal to uh, so not correct so sorry sorry, sorry. I forgot the approach uh, I forgot the technique actually 0.5 divided 4.7 equal to its power 0.25 equal to so it is 0 0.23 uh, 6 so 0 0.3 Amperes. Now, <coughs> now we have to find the uh, maximum value of EMF for this. So here I must have so E max should be equal to max should be equal to current which is I max I max into the total resistance of the circuit. So that's equal to R plus R. R is the inter resistance and uh, uh, large R is the external. So it's equal to 0 0.326 then 0 0.50 plus 4.7 so let's do it so into into inside the bracket it is 0 0.5 plus 4.7 so it comes to be equal to 1.696 696 volt and uh, the answer which is closest to this this thing is choice number c so choice number c should be the correct choice